In this session, we'll be detailing you about one among the important members of Kingdom Monera, which is Mycoplasma. Now, we should know how are Mycoplasma different from other bacteria. If you know, I have told you that in bacteria, basically the cell wall is present, which is made up of peptidoglycan. Now, in what you call mycoplasma, the peptidoglycan or the cell wall is not present. So, they are the bacteria which are having no cell wall or they are wall-less bacteria. We call them wall-less bacteria. When they are wall-less or they don't know peptidoglycan, they cannot be inhibited by penicillin. So, they are penicillin resistant. Penicillin, it affects on peptidoglycan layer and thus kill the bacteria. But they don't have what you call peptidoglycan layer. So they don't get killed with the, what you call the drug penicillin. So the penicillin doesn't harm them. So they are resistant enough to penicillin. They can be parasitic, they can be saprophytic. Now do always remember, they are the smallest cell which can survive without oxygen. So always remember, they can also survive in anaerobic conditions. And they are the smallest cell. Out of all the cells present on Earth, mycoplasma are smallest cell. Always remember that virus is also smaller, Vol viruses are also smaller than bacteria even with mycoplasma but viruses are acellular. If someone would ask you what is the smallest cell, your answer should be mycoplasma and that too mycoplasma galliseptacum is the smallest cell present on earth. Now what happens when they don't have cell wall, they don't maintain the rigidity and they can contract and relax, they can you know change different shapes because of that they are also called jokers of microbiology. There are two important scientists, Nocard and Rauch, they discovered them from the plural. Plural is the fluid which is present in lungs. Plural fluid of cattle, those are suffering from pleuropneumonia. So they are also called pleuropneumonia-like organisms. They are also called amylose, which stands for molecules-like organisms. They basically divide by fission or presence of some elementary body that is being taken care of the reproduction. Next session, we'll be detailing you about structure of mycoplasma.